Well, just as we're supposed to be through the worst of it, we're told to prepare for a new and deadly Omicron wave. More than 300 people are dying each week from COVID and our hospitals are under pressure. We're being encouraged to get a fourth jab and it won't be our last. Doctor, is that a booster in your pocket or are you happy to see me? Always happy to see you, Marty, but you're a naughty boy. You should have had it done before now. My second booster? Yep, four months after your third. You should be getting it done at your age and with your medical conditions. OK, so assume Let's the position. Let's go do it now. Let's not forget it. OK, here we go again. I've had my first two COVID shots, had my first booster, even had a flu shot. Now for the Superman routine. Good day, Marty. I've got your jab for you. I've got some special badges for you. Oh, thank Being you. Being a good boy, even though you are naughty for not coming on time. Yes, I'm sorry, but the time gets away, doesn't it? Absolutely. Do you think that uh, a lot of people probably are similar, do you think? Yeah, yeah. and the rules keep changing. Every yeah. time you blink, the rules will sorry. change. What hasn't changed, says Dr Makesh Heikerwal, former head of the AMA, is the serious threat of COVID. This might be my second booster, but millions of Australians have yet to receive their third. The good doctor says too many people have their heads in the sand. The, you know, publicity's dropped off around booster shots. Uh, COVID has gone off the, the news, off people's m minds. So there's not enough thinking about this. But COVID is there. It continues to be there. We're looking to get a big peak, unfortunately, at the end of this month, middle into the middle of August. It's All right, mate. Let's right. get on with it, I suppose. So you want to in your right arm or left arm? Oh, I can do my right if you want. My, my guns are bigger on the right-hand side, right. Mukesh. We've got my toes. Yeah, just count to ten and it'll all be over. Tell me when you're ready and I'll do it for you. I'm ready. All done. Good. Sweet. So, what does that mean now? Um, am I fully protected? You're fully protected. Um, we assume for four to six months. Dr Heikerwal runs a respiratory and COVID clinic in Melbourne's West. His message, don't wait, get protected for you and everyone else. A lot of people are confused about uh, whether they should be getting a, a booster or not. Oh, I don't know why. It's sort of, it's not rocket science. We've been getting vaccinations since before I was born. They're proven to work, so just do it. <laughs> I have an elderly mother, I have a grandson on mind, and I just do not want to get it. If it is mild, then so be it, I know I'll get through. But I, I, I'm not going to risk not having a vaccination. The worry is only 70% of the population is vaccinated with three shots. With immunity waning, doctors are warning the worst is yet to come. So it's imperative people get vaccinated. From today, an additional 7.4 million Australians can get their fourth COVID-19 shot, with over 30s eligible too. And the early signs of uptake are encouraging. When you had your jab just now, do you now feel not invincible, but protected? More protected, yes, because if I, I kind of assume ultimately I probably will get it. Everyone's sort of going to get it. It's almost impossible to avoid. So at least it's not going to kill me and I'm not going to put a strain on the hospitals. The figures are showing that those people who are most at risk of dying are those who've not had the booster, yes. If there is complacency, a sense of people being jaded, the Aussie she'll be right attitude or pushback against vaccines, it couldn't have come at a more dangerous time. I'm still getting over that figure I heard this morning. 300 people are dying every week in Australia. Yep, we lose the bus across the cliff every day in Victoria and a 737 across Australia every week. Professor, I had my second booster shot on Friday. What's your reaction? I'm surprised I didn't meet you there. As soon as I heard the change in recommendations, I booked my appointment and I was there Friday afternoon as well. Good on you. Professor Nancy Baxter is an epidemiologist at the University of Melbourne. Right now, she says we're in a critical stage of the pandemic and now is not the time for pandemic fatigue. My issue is just that we are currently in a wave of COVID. This is going to be one of the, one of the top killers of Australians this year and we already have 400,000 people with long COVID uh, right now in Australia. So we could do better. Can governments do more? Absolutely. We need strong public health messaging. Messaging that doesn't try to uh, diminish the fact that we remain in the middle of a pandemic. As a public, what should we be doing? 
I'd say get your booster, uh, wear a mask, protect yourself, protect your loved ones, protect your community. It's what we need to do right now. It's, this is not forever. This is just for right now. My question, does my second booster protect me against the new subvariants BA4 and BA5? Well, I think this is what a lot of people are wondering, so I'm glad you brought it up. It does protect us against BA4 and 5, but the main protection is upping our immunity uh, against um, having severe disease if we get it. COVID is the gift that keeps giving. Every time you think you've got over one thing, something else happens as well. What we have to do is man manage ourselves, give ourselves the best protection that we can. Doctor, should masks come back? I think masks should be back anyway. I think we don't have to be told to do it. We should just do it. It's safe, it's easy, um, and it keeps us safe, and it keeps the person in front of us safe. I don't want to be sick. I have no time for illness. And if you're an anti-vaxxer... Yeah, well, you know, they can't join the dots. I don't know what's wrong with them. I know this sounds really awful, but I just think they're dumb. So am I fully vaccinated? as we speak. You are fully vaccinated now, but the evidence says that, especially at this age, you reduce your risk of death by, uh, by a quarter. Also from today, the federal government has expanded access to cheap antivirals. Those eligible are people over 70, people over 50 with risk factors, and Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people aged over 30 with risk factors. Also, immunocompromised people over 18. Treatments come down from $1,000 to $6.80 for a concession card holder and around $40 for everyone else. Antivirals are really important in terms of actually reducing how many people die of COVID and how many people need to go to the hospital from COVID. Um, so uh, they, have, they have a major impact, but they have to be given within five days of getting, uh, getting COVID, of starting to have symptoms of COVID. I haven't had COVID again. I don't want it. <laughs> no, no, me either. I look, and if we have to keep having shots, boosters, I'll line up, I'll, I'll do it.